What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to Week 3 Recap Show with your Commissioner, Richie Guns Fox. Uh, we're going to jump right into it uh, with our Game of the Week, which was uh, Bobby Jarvis and his Kareem Pie defeating the Brady Bunch. Uh, 111.6, he's our high scorer of the week, to 67.5. Um, there was no real close games. The closest one, I believe, was me and James, which I ended up winning by about 12. So every game was essentially a blowout. So no good game of the week uh, could be chosen. But in this matchup, uh, Bobby showed that he has a fantastic team. He's uh, led by Cam Newton with almost 30 points. Kamara is on fire. He's got to be the top running back this season. Uh, Kareem Hunt finally had a good game for him, a couple touchdowns. Steve, uh, listen, I still stand by what I said. No one expected the Patriots to put 10 points up on the Lions. Um, I mean, I expected that to be like a 38-35 blowout. Uh, just turned the other way on Steve. But that's what you get when you draft an entire football team on your team is if they have an off week, you're going to lose fantasy football. And that's the chance that Steve took uh, last year, which worked out for him. And it might work out for him again this year, but not this week. So... Bobby, I believe, goes up to two and one, and Steve falls to two and one. Uh, Steve had a pretty tough week between his Jets, uh, between his fantasy team. So hopefully he can bounce back this week and you know get his shit together. So and I did pick Steve to win that um, because of the Patriots, which obviously did not work in my favor. Um, don't rewatch last week's video, not like you would anyway, but if you do, just totally throw that video out because I made a bunch of predictions that did not come true. Uh, and I think this game I get into another one. No, it's not this game. Whatever. Uh, <clears throat> in our next game, we got Shane and those big ass TDs taking on the book of Ezekiel and Matthew McFadden. Uh, Shane. Big ass TDs came out victorious, 100.3 to Matt's 80.3. Matt Ryan, 40 points, 40 freaking points, which was a great call by Shane. He could have easily started Carson Wentz coming off of injury, but he said, you know what? No, I'm going to go with Matt Ryan. I got a feeling, and he thought that was, that was definitely the right call because that, that would have been the game right there. If he starts Carson Wentz, he only had 11, so he would have lost. So that was the difference right there was Matt Ryan with 40 points. Uh, unfortunately for Matt, he didn't have like terrible weeks from anybody. It's just no one really got into the end zone for him. So if Zeke Elliott gets into the end zone a couple of times and Philip Lindsay doesn't get booted from the game in the second quarter, things could have been differently. But um, it is what it is. So uh, Shane comes out victorious. Shane, I believe that'll bring him up to two and one. Yep, and then uh, Matt will drop to one and two. Shane's got a good looking team again. Uh, you know, a good, solid running back core. Uh, Antonio Brown as well. Tyree Kill. Um, he's got plenty of talent. And Matt, he's got a good-looking lineup. Uh, he's not done yet. I have a feeling Matt will make a run. He just uh, His team has to put it all together uh, each and every week. <clears throat> In our next game, ah, this was another one of my bad calls. So you had uh, Mr. Excuse me, Papa Russo and Team Suckass. Uh, Versus Team Mitchcraft and Brian. Oh, and if I can go back to that last game, I picked wrong. I picked Matt to win and Shane won. Again, not proud of my picks this week. Um, sorry. And then so now you got in our third matchup, Team Suckass Papa Russo with 108.4 defeating Team Mitchcraft and Brian 89.1. Another blowout win because of the quarterback Drew Brees, 40 points, just like Matt Ryan. That game was something you definitely wanted to be a part of. And he did it. Uh, I think you need to go back to the team and thank you, Breezus, because he saved you again this week because the rest of your team didn't do that great. Carlos Hyde had 22 points, but you know Saquon doing his thing. But besides that, you're pretty mediocre weeks from everybody, so you were definitely led there by Drew. And then uh, Brian, he just, uh, he's you know, he, he had a decent week, but Julio Jones isn't getting into the end zone. Matt Ryan threw five touchdowns. None went to Julio. Three went to Calvin Ridley instead, so just bad luck there. Chris Thompson had a really bad game. I'm not really sure what happened there. But um, Minnesota defense, that was my bad call. I, I think everyone projected Minnesota to win. I think it was like an 80-point spread in Vegas. Um, but no, Buffalo came out and just fucking dominated. So 
Uh, unfortunately, I missed this game too. I picked uh, picked Brian to win this one. So I'm 0-3 so far. Again, not proud of my picks this week, but there is one that I am proud of, and that is what I'll get to in this next matchup. In my upset of the week, I picked Chris Russell and Scott's Tots to get 108 points and defeat Ronald, uh, which he did. He got 106. So if I did one thing right, I said that Chris's team was going to upset. They did, and I almost picked the exact point total. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, Chris had an overall very good week. If uh, Sony Michelle can get a bulk of the carries with, uh, I think, Rex Burkhead's down for the year, Chris is sitting pretty. He's got a decent-looking team. Leonard Fournette hasn't been there for a couple of weeks. He's trying to hang on. Carryon Johnson did uh, he did very well against the Patriots. Uh, Mike Williams, two touchdowns. I mean, Chris definitely has. Uh, Chris Godwin, uh, another one on his bench. He uh, dropped two touchdowns, but overall, he's you know doing very well this year. So, uh, Chris definitely has some talent. He's one and two now, but uh, you know he could definitely make a run. And then for Ronald, <clears throat> he had a decent week, 88.9 points. Uh, Chris Hogan has just not panned out this year. Not sure what's going on with him, but uh, he's another one. Just not many got into the end zone, it looks like, for him. Uh, you know, Todd Gurley did his thing uh, with 20 points, but besides that, everyone else on his team was pretty um, underwhelming as far as that. Jordan Howard had a decent week with 14. New England defense, Ron, get them out of there. They're not doing good right now. Um, so definitely get them out of your lineup. So again, I picked this game right, 106, 88.9. That will move uh, Scott's Tots and Chris Russell to 1-2 and two and probably out of last place in the power rankings. And uh, moves Ron down to 2-1. and one. And in our final matchup, which was my favorite matchup, I picked myself to win, and I did. The Double Orgasm Knights defeated... The Paula Deans Nigs, 97.3 to 85.8. <sighs> you know, I, I thought Kirk Cousins was going to have a great game, and he did not. They, I believe he had negative points in the fourth quarter, and every point that he scored after that was garbage time points. So in that aspect, I was lucky. But um, honestly, not a great week from either player. No, no, uh, I didn't have anyone blow up for me. Everyone just kind of did somewhat solid. And I know what's funny is I look at James' 0-3 team, and it's actually a really good team. Um, just, God, bad luck. I mean, David Johnson's been underwhelming this year. Yeah, he had 12 points, but I'm, he's like Todd Gurley. He should be getting 20 a week, you would think. Um, OBJ, I don't think, has gotten a touchdown all year. Unbelievable, man. Uh, just You look at his team on paper, and they're really good. He started the Kansas City defense again. Uh, they got him one. I don't know if that was a statement to me or what, but dude, keep starting them, man. Keep on, keep on, keeping on. Their offense is scoring like forty-five a game. Um, so let me here. Let me explain this to you. So their defense is terrible, and their offense is amazing. They're the best in the NFL. So when that happens, your the offense is scoring, let's say, forty-two points a game, which I believe they are, making the other team's offense pass the ball a lot and score a lot of points on their poor defense. So they're outscoring opponents. With that being said, their defense is never going to do well ever. But you can continue starting them. I have faith in you. But I and and th like let's say you just bench them and pick somebody decent. You know, you could have won this week, but you made a statement. You stuck with it. I respect that in the man, and thanks to you, I won. So I appreciate that. Um, but your team is, like, you have Jarvis Landry on the bench. Like, your team is fantastic. I just, I don't know what's going on over there. But um, I, I, I'll tell you right now, I, I picked James. I think he's going to come back and make the playoffs. It, just look at his team. It's good. It's it's honestly really good. I just stick with it, man, you know? Keep on keeping. I mean, get the Kansas City defense out of there. But besides that, you know, keep keep on trucking. Um, so this week I finished two and three in my uh, projections with which uh, Mister Papa Russo called me out on over text message, which is fine. Uh, everyone's uh, good for an off week, you know. So that moves me to nine and six on the season. Um, as usual, after this, I will do my week four projections. And give you some uh, news, which there's not nearly as much news this week as there was last week. So um, I will do more power rankings, which I believe I will be uh, number one, just to give you a spoiler. Um, I believe I have uh, the most points still. And then on top of that, I'm going to get the first round by right now. So deservingly so. 
Aside from that, no, 